Sims, it's me, C. Sims, and we are back with more Dang and Rumpa 2, Goodbye Despair, and <gasps> it's part 50. It's part 50. I knew it before I finished recording, and like, because I looked at my notes, because I keep track, and I just looked, and I was like, <gasps> you know, usually I don't remember. You'd think I would, because like, I usually like label the parts that I record as I record them so that they don't get mixed up and I don't like put them out of order but anyway part 50 woo um uh, Mikon why does it have to end like this I'm still sick because you know I literally recorded the other part like 35 seconds ago anyway. this is too pointless this is too much now then I prepared a very special punishment for the ultimate nurse, Mikan Sumiki. I just feel like letting him say his own line. So life. it's over. It's really. Now I can go to my beloved, who always forgives me. Who is her beloved? I can finally see them. Please forgive me, the one who's going to die with the hope of finally seeing you. Let's give it everything we've got. It's punishment time! Goddamn love Monokuma's voice. So here we go, we open up with the punishment. Bonk. <laughs> like that, I was like, dink! Just drags her away. Bye bye, ouchies. This looks extremely... Just her riding the... the I, it just looks really, really, really wildly inappropriate. So did she just get, like, blasted off to the moon or something? What? That doesn't seem like all the other ones had a violent death and she just got like a blast off to what she just disappeared and we never saw anything i don't trust that it's finished are you sure that didn't seem right to me is it really finished the killer who killed ibuki miyota and hyoko sayanji was mikon sumiki can we not say all of their full names because that's just a lot of japanese names all kind of one spot for me and I just felt like, I really felt like I was speaking Japanese, because I'm like, I don't, know, I don't know what any of these, you know what I mean? You know me, it's hard to say words. And she's been executed. She apparently committed a crime because she was afflicted by the despair disease. So what? What's finished? Nobody wanted it to end this way. Let me ask. Who was that Mekong from earlier? Was that her true form? Or is that itself a symptom of the despair disease? Damn it. Doesn't matter either way. If she ended up like that just from remembering, then all along Mikan was never worth being a symbol of hope. But... Even if her words were influenced by the despair disease, if the disease turned her into that, if she lost herself into a simple disease, she was definitely unworthy of being a symbol of hope. Isn't that right? So let's just move on. <laughs> Come on, let's all let's take all this despair and change it to hope. Please wait. But that is impossible. Uh, I mean, I thought we were friends this whole time, but even so, like a house of cards collapsing in an instant. In the end, our friend we thought we knew ended up showing us a completely different side of herself. Oh my God, there's only eight of us left. There's half of us. Well, what's his face is. I mean, how many of us were there to begin with? Ow, bird. Anyway. Uh, then she vanished from our sight, leaving behind only her malice toward us. And now, there's no way we can just move on or try to have a clear cut attitude about these feelings. It's clearly impossible. Damn it! It would have been so much easier if she was the traitor, too. Wrong! Too bad! That's not the case! 
Beacon was not the traitor. Come on. The traitor is still alive. As proof, see how fine Monami looks right now? <sighs> I'm not fine at all. Hmm? But if the traitor died, you wouldn't be this calm, right? I mean, you're both pawns of the future, Foundation. So you guys are like two hearts beating as one, right? You fiend. What does that make you, fiend? You did say that you're different than Monomi. Phew. Who cares about who I am? More important, I'm tired. The drama just kept going and going. I didn't even have time to eat my black bean right eye during the break. Is he saying his eye is a bean? Hey. That's exactly what I was thinking. Your right eye is made out of black beans? Hey, hey. Wait, now's not the time to focus on that. What are you trying to say? Hey, um... You know, isn't it said that life has its ups and downs? It's fun because downs come after ups. But if life was full of downs, wouldn't it get boring? <laughs> so... In order to help you guys feel better, I've prepared a special event. We could all go home. Special event? <laughs> Head over to the first island's beach. An old friend will be waiting there. Old friend? Huh? Nekomaru? Could it be Nekomaru? Hey. Is it? It is, isn't it? Nekomaru was safe after all. Hmm. Um, safe. How should I say this? <laughs> I knew it. You're the crazy bastard Nekomaru would come back to us in one piece. <laughs> awesome. We're starting to see the light of hope. Um... The light of hope. Um, I am happy Nekumaru is returning to us, but... But I... So just as I thought. Three of our friends just died. So I honestly cannot be happy. Yeah, I kind of get her. Hmm. Miss Sonia. However... Even so, I am still happy. If Nekumaru is safe, I am truly happy. Fine. If you are happy, you should honestly greet him with open arms. Perhaps those who have been taken from us would do the same if they still lived. <laughs> hey, Supreme Overlord of Who Gives a Shit. That line doesn't suit you at all. Silence. I shall crush you into dust. I just love him and it's got any answers. Um, Ibuki, Hyoko, Mikan, can you hear us? If you are unhappy, I apologize. However, please forgive me for right now. I... Want to warmly welcome Nekumaru when he returns to us. You don't have to worry, Sonya. I'm sure your feelings are reaching them. Right? Then let's all go greet Nekumaru. Let's make it grand, even for those who have died. <laughs> huh? What the heck? Do I still have the after effects of that disease? <laughs> I don't get this at all. Uh, Akane. Alright! Alrighty then, let's go. Yeah, you're right. Nikamar's coming back. When we heard that, we were unable to contain our excitement as we jumped into the elevator. Woohoo! Except for me. Uh oh. Man! They just ran off without listening to what I had to say. Unbelievable. Jeez, they're so impatient. Didn't they learn to stick around until others have finished talking? Um, what, what does that mean? Hey! You, you're plotting something again, aren't you? No way! <laughs> I'm not plotting anything. I was just trying to properly explain everything to them. Including Nekamaru's body. Hmm? Huh? Nekamaru's body? <laughs> it's their fault for not sticking around until I finish talking. <laughs> so if something happens because of that, I bear no responsibility. <gasps> you, you, what did you do to Nekamaru? What's this? What did I do? I just saved him. That's all. I mean, if I didn't do that, there's no way I could have saved someone who was that close to death. So it just couldn't be helped. <laughs> oh my god, is he like a fucking zombie or like a monster? Like, something's wrong with him. As soon as we exited the elevator, we started running. Hurry to the beach on the first island! Alright, All right, let's haul ass! Even though our minds were completely exhausted, strangely enough, our bodies felt light. Without stopping for anything, we kept right on running toward the beach on the first island. Sorry, I was getting a little dramatic there. Where... Where in the world is Nekamaru? Hey. Hey, Nekamaru, show yourself. Listen. We have come to pick you up. Please hurry and 
Come out of hiding. We raised our voices. We looked around the area. We raised our voices again. We looked around the area again. Uh, maybe he's behind the tree. Nope. How about behind the camera? Nope. Well, maybe he's behind the tree. <laughs> In the same tree we just looked behind you. Yeah. And so on and so forth. We kept looking for him. But... Hey, hey. What the hell, man? He's nowhere to be found. Damn it. <sighs> it's hard doing the voices. Especially, like, it's, it's hard doing them anyway because I suck at them. But it's really bad when I'm sick because it's like... Anyway. Could it be? Did we get false info from Monokuma again? And that's when it happened. We heard a familiar voice echo throughout the beach. <laughs> what happened? Were y'all looking for me? Could be? That voice! With high hopes in our hearts, we turned toward the direction of the voice. And then we saw something truly unbelievable. He's a robot. Huh? What the? Yo! I've kept you waiting. Or he's Monokuma. He looks like he's got bare feet. Hey! What's going on? Perhaps you don't remember my face since we haven't seen each other in a while. That's pretty sad, you know? That's too much! <laughs> um, who are you? Huh? You too? What's going on? If you're messing with me, I'll stop doing it to you. That sounds so inappropriate because it's like they're just fighting, but it does sound like they were um, boning. Nekomaru? Haven't you noticed it yourself? What do you mean, notice? I can't wait. Oh, you mean this body? <laughs> this is nothing! Oh my god, he's the like a- This is Nekomaru Nidai! I've been reborn in the rivers of hell! He's fucking metal! <laughs> That's awesome! <laughs> I'm sorry. Is she freaking out or was she just at. Never mind. She's just freaking out because that's not what it sounded like. That is not what that sounded like. But, okay, here's the weird thing. 14, 30, what is that counting down when it says nine days left? You know what I mean? Trapped by the ocean sand. Yes, okay. Yeah, nine with Nekomaru. So, yeah. I don't think he should count his fucking medal. I obtained a present. A nurse's apron. Look at that. Wow. Dude. We were hoping things would progress smoothly. That's right. A common, ordinary progression would have been just fine. Like, for example, the enemy's lair crumbling right after you defeat the final boss, or your dead friend suddenly reappearing. It would have been just fine if things had progressed like that. That's the kind of old-school progression we were hoping for. Not... This unreasonable turn of events. The name's Nekomaru Nidai! I've been reborn in the rivers of hell! I kinda like it, he looks like a cat. N Nekomaru? Is that you? <laughs> no matter how you look at it, I'm still me! No matter how we look at it, this isn't you at all! I'm glad he wasn't having sex with Akane because I think that would hurt right about now. Jeez! You guys are a uh, uh, strange lot. You all have such big, wide eyes. <laughs> or perhaps you've all fallen in love with this metallic body of mine. <laughs> I already know what you want to say just by looking in your eyes. Was he a beans for his eyes? Look like beans. But again, I am a former team manager. <laughs> what happened? You look like you've seen a ghost or something. You. Hey, man, don't go scaring Miss Sonya with that strange ass mask. As he raised the stammering voice, Kazuichi grabbed on a Nekomaru's head and... I already know! Come on, take it off! <laughs> ow, 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 ow! So stop it! Stop it! Hey, hey! Uh, huh? Why won't it come off? W wait, what? Okay. Are you freaking kidding me? 
Holy crap! It's not just for show! Pure scary. Electricity. It's not just for show, it's pure electricity! I've been reborn as pure electricity! <laughs> I can't, I can't do it. It's, it's, it's hurts. No offense, like, Nekamaro's not a bad person, but I just kind of like, I don't like doing his voice, it hurts. If you're seriously Nekamaru, that's my fault, right? You ended up getting a body like that, and it's all my fault, right? S sorry. Sorry, Nekamaru. I, I don't know how to apologize for this. <laughs> don't worry about it. A lot of stuff happens when you're alive. You serious? You're too upbeat. Is this really okay? <laughs> if, you don't keep, if you keep sweating the small stuff, you're going to end up getting more gray hairs. Hey, hey. I, I keep mixing up voice. I can't. My brain right now. I don't know. Uh, commenting on every little thing he does is a waste of time. Uh, hey. But, but you're really Nekumaru, right? You came back for us, right? That's right. I've resurrected from the depths of hell in shining silver. I don't know why he always is around. How? Are you even okay with that? It doesn't even compare to my eye patch. How can you accept that body? Oh. Better to just be alive. Huh? 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 It's better to just be alive. Hey, don't you agree? If I'm alive, I can still talk to you all. If I'm alive, I can still fight. Show some spirit! Doesn't matter what happens to my body. Not one bit! Amazing! You're amazing. Nikamaru is brimming with hope. It's better to just be alive. I do understand what Nikamaru is saying, but... No matter how we make sense of this, it's just too weird. This isn't a novel or a movie. This is a game. Reality. A game. Can something this unexplainable really be allowed to happen? No. Instead, why did this happen? Um... Anyway, I'm glad... That's fine, right? Right? Nekamaru definitely came back to us. What's this? My, my, am I interrupting your touching reunion? Oh, uh... oh, 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 oh! Yeah. Yeah, why is Nekamaru a robot? Hey, um... Unfortunately, it was truly difficult to save Nekamaru from the jaws of death. But they don't call me the Psycho-Pop Magician for nothing. Psycho-Pop Magician. I just, I just like that. Oh my goodness! Let's Such a oh. wonderful before and after has occurred. <laughs> I love it when he does his lines. I really wish everything Monokuma did was fully voiced. <laughs> it appears to be a little too dramatic. Uh, we... Work as we just... It appears to be a little too dramatic. Thanks to that, I'm getting stabbed by all these en envious stares. Hey, hey. Hey, if you're really a robot, what's going on with your thought process? Is that a program too? Then what happened to other stuff like your self-awareness and... <laughs> Fool, how many times do I have to tell you that it doesn't matter? No matter what shape or form I take, I am Nekamaru Nida! Is he... Is he going to power through the rest of his life with his new abilities? Hmm. Th that kind of reaction, it looks like you really are self-aware. <gasps> that means this technology is insane! I've never seen or heard of anything like this before. Here. What the commoner considers advanced is not much of an advancement. If you think advancements exist in colleges and laboratories, that's a huge misunderstanding. <laughs> the real advancements exist in the place where you can pass on that talent. Hey, hey. And you're saying that's you? Were you really that amazing? You. Stop admiring him. <laughs> Stupid stuff, toy. Don't go screwing with people's bodies like that. What? Hold on, if you are Monokuma, you're going to- <laughs> <laughs> You intend to defy me yet again? You're quite the barbarian! Disappear! Jeez, this time you will definitely fall prey to my Monokuma bazooka! Oh god, Kane, seriously? <laughs> Once again, the world shook and turned stark white. As if the surrounding environment and all sound was blown away by the impact. Turning everything completely white. And with that whiteness, I heard that voice yet again. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, Nekomaru! <laughs> that didn't phase me at all! Check it out! I'm intact! I have no injuries at all!
Hey, hey. Are you fucking serious? He took that blast and doesn't even have a single scratch. <gasps> awesome! He's seriously a real robot! Whoa. Hey, can you let me disassemble you? Can you let me disassemble you and show me your insides? No, thank you! <laughs> if I get disassembled, I'll end up dying. By the way... Uh, I suppose I should fill you in. Even though he's a robot now, if Nekamaru is killed, it's still going to count as murder, okay? Of course. It's possible that Nekumara might kill someone instead. <laughs> Don't say such foolish things. That will never happen. <laughs> well, with all that in mind, you guys enjoy the killing school trip together. Let's get along. Once again, I hope we can all get along. It's impossible. It's impossible. It'll be a while before I can mentally process this. Um, um, will Nekumaru never return to his original form? If that is the case, it is a burden for Nekamaru. Jeez. Hey, hey, it's not like I came back as a monster. I'm just a robot now, you know? Mm. I'm sorry, I can't really see a difference. Uh huh. Well, just consider this a little promotion. By making a robot one of the main characters, a genuine mystery is transformed into a sci-fi mystery. <sighs> and the hard-boiled is transformed into cyberpunk. Hey. You're totally destroying the genres. <laughs> oh, well, who cares? As long as it's fun, it's totally fine. <laughs> as I listened to Monokuma's boisterous laugh, once again I was forced to accept. This island is not the day-to-day -day world I know. It's a mad world where the strange is accepted as normal. Causes, reasoning, circumstances, foreshadowing, these things don't apply here at all. That's what it means to live in a mad world. It's a perfect place to end it. As we go into chapter four, to ultimate robots dream of clockwork. Oh no! Well, because I'm assuming it's just because it's Nekamaru and not because he's gonna die or something. But anyway, I'm going to wrap this part up here. I will see you guys next time. Remember to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more.